FC5 has some timers in the block, so let's open it. You can tell whether the block you're looking at is the offline project block or online PLC block at any time by clicking on the error tab. This block is the offline project block. Clicking the eyeglasses for monitoring does two things. One is it lets you monitor the block. But secondly, if the offline project block does not match the online PLC block, you will get a pop-up message. Because the block is being monitored and there was no message saying that the blocks didn't match, we know the online and offline blocks are identical. Let's now open the online PLC block for some testing. Click on the eyeglasses again to turn monitoring off. Click the online offline toggle button. You'll see a message asking you if you want to close the block, in this case the offline block, and open its partner, the online block. Click yes to open the online block. Notice that the error tab now shows that you are looking at the online block. Click the glasses to monitor. The first timer is a somatic on delay timer, which was pulled from the timers folder in the catalog. All somatic timers have the time format S5T pound sign followed by the number of hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. The maximum time for one of these timers is 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds. Currently, this time is set for S5T pound sign 25 seconds. It has been determined that this is not quite long enough for our process. Let's change the value to S5T pound sign 26 seconds and test it. First download the block, then highlight network 1 because monitoring takes place from the highlighted network down. The full timing out of the timer is not shown, however 26 seconds is still not long enough. Let's change the time to 30 seconds and download the block. Make sure network 1 is highlighted and test the block. Again, the timing down is not shown. This value worked, so now what we want to do is save the online block to the offline folder where the blocks will again match. Turn off monitoring. Click the Save button. Now the online block in the PLC and the offline block in the project are identical. Now let's have a look at SFB4, the IEC on delay timer in Network 3. Two things stand out right away. One is that this timer has a data block attached to it because the called block is a system function block. Secondly, the time input is different. The IEC timer input is just T pound followed by the days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds up to a value of 24 days, 20 hours, 31 minutes, 23 seconds, and 647 milliseconds. Data block values in the PLC of a running process will almost always be different than data block values in the offline project. Let's see an example. Minimize the programming editor. Right click on the blocks folder and choose compare blocks. The default is to compare online to offline blocks. Click the Compare button. Here you see that the download timestamps are identical, but the actual values are different in the PLC. That's because the process is constantly writing new values to the data block. In this case, we only want to change the timer's value, so the data block will not be a problem. Close the Compare window. Close the Comparison tool. Back in the programming block, turn the monitoring glasses on. Notice that we are still in the online block of the PLC. Select the IEC timer's input value. Let's change the value from 9 seconds to 8 seconds. Download the block. Make sure that Network 3 is selected and test by energizing input I1.4. The timer's full countdown is not shown. Let's select the time value again. Change the value to 6 seconds. Download the block. Highlight Network 3 and test the timer again. 
While the full time down is not shown, this value works for what we are trying to accomplish. So turn the monitoring glasses off and save the block to the project. The online and offline block match again. In review, you can open a block that has a timer and switch to the online block. Test time values until you find the one that works best. Then turn the glasses off and save the block, which puts it in the project, so that the online and offline blocks match. For more information on timers, watch the videos on somatic timers and IEC timers. You can also learn more about block comparisons and examining differences in blocks in the video Compare Online and Offline Blocks. And that concludes this video.